Good afternoon, everybody. I'm just waiting for my computer to catch up. It's a Saturday, so it's going slow. <laughs> Hopefully you're all logging in while I'm waiting for my computers to catch up. Here we go. Here we go. Right, I can see you. I can't see you on Facebook just yet, so just give my page a second to catch up. I do know that Facebook is a little bit behind YouTube. Are we on yet? Yeah, we're on, we're on. We're on. YouTube's not on yet. It is, it's just coming on. Oh, technology, hey? Technology. <laughs> so hopefully you're all getting logged in as I'm waiting. If you all get caught up. Hi, Denise. <laughs> Hi, Kathleen. Hi, Judy. So we are starting to get logged in now. Right, I can see everybody. Judy, are you watching on Bo? <laughs> Turn the subtitles off. I'll let everybody get logged in. I'll just give it a minute. I'm not going to go through everything until everybody's here. Because there's a, there's a fair bit to get through, as usual. Hi, Shell. And you, see, you're not used to it. I'm on time. <laughs> Judy's watching on both. <laughs> hi, Anna. Hi, Karen. Loud and clear. Hi, Lona. Yeah, they are. Right, so I'll just give everybody a second to get logged in. Hi, Pam. Hi, Priscilla. So while I'm waiting for you to all get logged in, I'm going to have a drink because it's probably going to be the last one I get for a while. Hi, Christine. Hi, Janet. So I'm talking to people on both Facebook and on YouTube now. Hi, Jean. Which I know sounds a bit bizarre, but I actually quite like it. Hi, Anne. Hi, Pamela. From Canada. I wonder, is the weather better there than it is here? Hi, Anne. Right, we're starting to get, everybody's starting to come in now. So I'll just hang on a minute. So you can obviously see behind the screen, behind the little banner, that I'm using something different. Hi, Tanya. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Karen. Hi, Helen. Alice. Oh, bless you. Thank you. <laughs> so it's, I can't wait to show you these. I completely forgot we got these. Um, so when, when I'll show you what the whole point of them is what the whole idea is when everybody's here so we're starting to get logged in hi emma hi edith hi trish hi susan so everybody's starting to get get here now i keep saying that don't i but you are all starting to get here hi gene right i'm gonna get started because although this is this is not going to be a three hour a three hour workshop it's gonna be an hour and a half maybe <laughs> so there's quite a bit for me to go through to show you that i'm using less than the canvas um but there's still there's still quite a few bits to go through so let's take this screen off and i'll remind you all do, 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 mm -mm, when i find the right button that's not the right button i can't even find the right button Oh, there it is. So everything that I'm using today, providing we've got... You ought to be ashamed, Bev. Bev just said she nearly forgot. Uh, everything that I'm using today that is in stock is available on the website, honeypotcrafts.co.uk. And please remember to like and subscribe to my channel and the Sentimentally Yours Facebook page. You need to like and, uh, and share everything for me. And then obviously it gets to everywhere. Hi, hi Phil from sunny and warm Spain from Jan oh have you recovered from that last epic demo well it took me a few days to recover shell I must admit <laughs> hi Debbie hi Sue hi Sue right so let's get cracking and, and make a start on this I know some I die the butterfly moles arrived this morning you'll be glad you got those die because they've sold out now um, and just just a little heads up to you all the uh, the cut the gears dies from Zori sold out as well, uh, and we've got 
we've got two of each left in stock <clears throat> so if you if you didn't get these when i did the canvas the other night and you like i mean they're amazing i'm gonna i'm gonna use them again today uh we have only got two of each left in stock and it's highly unlikely i will get them back so if you like these gears set one and set two you need to get ahead and get them in your basket while i'm rattling on here because i probably won't get them back and you'll regret it if you don't <clears throat> right so let's get this show on the road and show you what i'm using so i wanted to do something a little bit different today um and i remember i remember borrowing these from the shop uh oh quite a while ago and i forgot we got them and they're absolutely amazing um they're like little kits with they remind me of the box kit magazines where you've got coordinating toppers and backgrounds and everything and they are chow bella so the quality is absolutely phenomenal um and i'm using this one here to this one here today which is called blue note which obviously gives you it's, it's kind of a jazz theme um doesn't have to be because you can you can just use it as a musical theme which is what i'm doing today and these these little kits are only a tenner i think and they're, they're, they're gorgeous so I'm, i've got two here that i wanted to show you there, there are about nine i think um they are on the website i have put links on the description for youtube and facebook so you can just click on the uh Chow bella creative pads or creative packs we've called them um, and they're absolutely fabulous. I'm just, so I'm just going to open this one and show you. I'm going to show you both of these because these were two that I was instantly drawn to. This one because of the colours. I can't get everything in the screen, but I'll try to. It's because I've moved my camera a little bit lower. Um, uh, right, right off the top, I'm going to tell you that we literally have got twos and threes of these left. So if you like what I'm showing you, click on the link and go and get them. The cogs should be on the website. They're in the Zori mould die. I'm going to have a quick look just to check. Uh, just bear with me one second. So while, da while I'm doing two jobs at once, <laughs> just bear with me a second. I'm going to bring that in closer. You can see all the detail you get in these fabulous, fabulous papers. Uh, I'm just looking at the wrong thing. Dee, dee, dee. Just bear with me one second, everybody. I am still here. Yeah, they are showing Di. So I'm just, I'm just talking to Di on Facebook. So they're called Gear Set Wad. And gear set to die. They're in the molds category, molds and air dry clay on Dazori. Yeah. So I'm gonna show I'm gonna show you these. So the, these what these have are eight double-sided sheets, but they're absolutely fabulous. And and the card I'm gonna make today is very vintage, very shabby chic, and I've taken elements from these papers. So this is this is actually the cover, and the cover already gives you one, two, three four because that's quite a large topper and then i'm going to flip that over <clears throat> oh i mean look at these i've actually used this one today in the background so i'm gonna i'll just flick through i'm not going to spend ages on it the colors were the colors are just absolutely fabulous and the layering that they've done is amazing So I shouldn't tell you, I shouldn't tell you to do this, but I know what I would do with these. I would be saving these on my computer so I can use them again and again and again. Look at these. Aren't they just absolutely fabulous? They're just stunning. And another background. I'll flick through. I'm going to show you both before I get started. Look, look, and more, and I'm not even halfway through yet. But be warned, once they've gone, I won't get them back. So you need you need to jump on the website, pretty sharpish. Oh, look at this paper. 
That is just stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. So they're obviously good for scrapbooking, they're good for your card making, they're good for your journaling. Uh, and this one particularly, and the next one that I'm gonna show you, are really good for your masculine cards. Because I mean I wouldn't I would want I would be quite happy if you sent me a card made with this. Look at all these, I'm still going. Look at that, how fabulous is that? Easy to cut out as well. Here you've got two A5 cards, more or less sorted. Oh, I've used this one today as well. The quality is phenomenal. More tags, more records. And another Blue Tones map. And then the last one for this page, for this pack, and I, I have actually used the borders that are on the side and I've used the big long tag and I've cut these records out as well. Is that not just absolutely stunning? Uh, so, right, so good afternoon to everybody from, from me if I've not spoken to you already. I'm just gonna pop this down here out of the way. <clears throat> and I'm gonna show you the other one as well because I absolutely love this one. I, l I think, I think that this is my favorite because I love anything themed like this. So this one is called Delta. And I'm gonna bring that in and show you. Ciao Bella do these so, so well. Look at the images. The images are phenomenal. Oh, I mean, these are just gorgeous, look. I'm gonna see if I can get closer so you can see the texture in this paper. Aren't they just beautiful? And again, you've got more toppers here and all of them have elements in them that you can cut down and, and layer up and decoupage, which is what I've done today. I love that. Absolutely love that image. And a, a, a weave paper, then more toppers. They've all got little sentiments hidden within them as well. Look at that paper. Hi Elaine, hi to everybody I've not spoken to, whether you're watching on YouTube or Facebook. These, these are such good value for money. Look at that. Stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Oh, look. Right, I've gone on about these for long enough, I think. But I just wanted you to see these because I know what's going to happen. You're going to try and get them after the demo and they will have, be, they will have gone. Um, so get, oh, look at that. Amazing. You can tell I love this. I absolutely love this kit. Oh, that's fabulous. And that all reads. And we've nearly done two larger ones that are like postcards, so they'd be good for your A5 cards again. And then another background. Then another background. And then more tags and toppers and more sentiments. They, they, these are just worth every penny because they're, they're fabulous. So I'm using these today. I'm using the Blue Notes one, which is the one with the music. <clears throat> did, uh, did you find them, Di? So, so that's that. They are beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Uh, so here we go. I'm, I'm using the Ticket Tape Tastic Motivationals today. So the motivational stamps. I'm also using the broken circuitry rubber stamp. I'm using the wire texture die. I'm using the cogs and gears dies. And, 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 and just find some space. <clears throat> I'm using three colors from the metallic paints. I might, I might have another one as well. I might put some blue in. So I've got here burnt orange, because we're gonna do some rusty embellishments. Copper. I've also got gunmetal. And I am just going to get, I'm just going to get my teal, I think. No, I'll, yeah, I'll go for, I'm gonna go for that one instead. Electric blue. I'm going to get electric blue and teal, just in case. 
Let's my throat dry before we even start. Uh, right, so I'm going to bring in... Oh, no, I forgot. I'm still telling you things. I'm still telling you things. So I'm using Gathered Twigs Distress Oxide. I'm also using the Gathered Twigs Distress Oxide Spray. I've got Salty Ocean um, Distress Oxide Spray as well, as well because I want some light, some blue tones in the background of this. And teal would have been too dark. I wanted the blue. So Salty Ocean Gathered Twigs. And you'll notice that the Gathered Twigs Oxide is actually a different shade to the ink pad. It's a little bit more of like a rusty, a rusty brown, a vintage brown. I'm also using the clear embossing powder. There we go. So the crystal clear, super fine embossing powder. I'm using the gesso. <laughs> so I did say it was going to be a quicker demo and it will be a quicker demo. <laughs> and this is what I've got ready already. So I'm just going to let you have a look at this. So on, my, on the description, uh, sorry, I'm just, yeah, nag me to drink because my throat's really dry. Ciao Bella, yes they are. So the Ciao Bella, and they are on the website. The, the link, uh, can someone order me some please, it's Sylvia. Sylvia, just message me afterwards, Chuck, and, and, and let me know which ones you want. Because there's there are, I think there are eight different sets. Um, so these, I'll show you again. They are, I'm not going to show you again, I'll just show you the cover. So the, this is the cover of the one I'm using today, which is called Blue Note. Yeah, and they are, they're eight sheets in a pack. They're double sided. They're 190 GSM. So you can actually hear that they're quite thick. And it's very naughty to say this, but I'm going to say it anyway. Um, I, I would have these on my computer. I would scan them on my computer and have them in as a, as a backup because they're just too nice. Right, so, drink. <clears throat> There's quite a bit to do today. I think that's one of mine. So let's just move all these bits. So you can see I've done myself a kind of layout with this. And although I said this was going to be a 7 by 5 card, I've made it a little bit bigger. <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> what a shocker. <laughs> so I'm just going to take the elements and show you what I've got here. Just so you can see what I'm using. So I've... There's so many, there's so many different elements in this kit, in, in all the kits, you just, you'll never get bored with it. So this is what I've got here. I've got a massive tag and I've got two more in that size. And the one here with the guitar on, I've cut out an extra guitar so that I can decoupage that up and I'm gonna emboss that to give it a glossy sheen. All the borders and all the papers are from this. I mean, look at this. Look at this for a colour palette. How stunning is that colour palette? How stunning is that colour palette? The blue one, please, Phil. Yeah, I'll sort it, Sylvia. Yeah. So this is where I'm at. So we're going to start from the bottom and work our way up. So this is actually one of the... Uh, grey board clocks from the tray chic that I cut I coloured this with the gun metal ages and ages and ages ago and never used it. So I'm gonna change I'm gonna alter that today. I've got my gears and I've also done I'm just stretching over my desk. <clears throat> I've also they're not quite dry yet. I've also done another couple of gears. So this one is dry because I did this one for the canvas the other day. But these two I did a, a couple of hours ago and they're not quite dry. So I'm going to leave those as long as I can. So these are from the Zori Moulds uh, on the website. And if you look at the description of the live, Anne is just asking me how to order them. If you look at the description on the Facebook page for the live, I've put links to everything. 
So you should the top link should be Ciao Bella, Ciao Bella Packs or something. So that should take you straight to it. So that's from set one and that's from Gears set two. And I also had a little bit of clay left over when I was making these. So I'm just gonna keep them on the kitchen roll as long as long as I can. So I've just done the centre parts from two. Let me show you. So this bit here, look, is from the centre part of this gear. So don't think you have to use them full size. You can just use the centre parts to make smaller ones. So uh, do you want me to show you, do you want me to show you these again before I move on? Do you want me to do one of these in the, in the mould to show you? I'll go with the first few replies. So the first few replies, if you, if you say yes, I'll show you how to do the air dry clay again. Let's have a look. Put all my bits to one. Oh, and I've got a couple of straws, a couple of craft straws, because we're going to rusty them up as well. Just with paints, I'm not adding texture, but we're just doing it with the paints. So let's have a quick look, see what everybody's saying. Stunning, stunning, they are beautiful. Yeah, they're absolutely beautiful. There's, there's one, um, there's also one called, um, oh, what's it called? There's one called Notre V, which is absolutely beautiful. Uh, it's on the website. I can't get you, oh, I can get you the links. Bear with me, I can get you the links. Let me just find it. Ciao Bella Creative Packs. I can do it while I'm, I didn't really, oh, oh, I'm so good. Copy. Here's the link to the, um, to the Ciao Bella stuff on the website. For those of you on Facebook, <clears throat> Another few, yeah, <laughs> can hardly bring myself to cut there. Already oh, treated yourself to the tweezers site. God, you won't be late. Hi, Chris, not to worry. Uh, that's not my fingernail on the image, by the way. I don't think I can post links on YouTube, but let me try. Let me see if it lets me do it. So on YouTube, if it lets me do it. Oh, it did. There's the link to the, um, to the Chow Belly kits that I'm using today. Right, so me being me, I'm not happy to just use papers as they are. I want to do more to them. Um, so what I've got here is this part here, this layer is actually a seven by five. So if you wanted to make a little seven by five card, all you would need to do is omit the two bottom layers, but I like bigger cards. And the border I've left myself with these papers is minute. It's literally, literally two millimeters and i've done that on purpose because i'm going to shabby these so i'm going to shabby them first using my big scissors yeah the notre v is beautiful there's also one called frozen roses uh and the frozen roses one is a christmas type one and it's absolutely stunning stunning they're all they're all stunning i've got to say see i love i love the fishy Oh, that's fab, Christine's telling me the, the link did work on YouTube, so that's braille. Uh, I quite like the fishy one. Where is it? I love this one. And, and although I don't do fit, this is called Delta. Although I don't do fishing or anything, you know, we've got a horse. And the images are just, the images are just beautiful. Look at that paper there. I'm not going to keep oohing and ahhing because I'll never get anything done. <laughs> but they're absolutely worth the weight in gold, these. I don't think they've done any new ones, otherwise I would have ordered them. So we'll do two jobs at once. I'm going to bring all my paper elements in and shabby the edges. So I'm shabbying the edges with my scissors before, before I do any splatting or inking or anything on them. Um, just just so we get lots of texture from this, from this little set, little five by seven, well, seven by five cards are tiny for me really. What cutter do you use to get the perfect frame? I use oh now you mean guillotine, Chris? I use a purple cow guillotine, purple cows or whatever they called it. I don't think you can get them anymore. Uh, I can't cope with paper trimmers. 
they do my head in. So I've got guillotines. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna shabby the edges of this up. Let me just move this so I don't get bits everywhere. Oops, I'll watch my desk. Otherwise I'll end up with holes in my desk. I'm just going to roughen the edges up. Be careful. I always leave the corners. Remember, I gave you that two pages ago. I, leave, I avoid the corners and start just a little bit off. So I'm literally dragging the edge of my long scissors on the edge of this. I'm going to do a little bit more because I want some tears in it. But I'll do those after. Look at the mess. I should have a hoover. There's a new wrench cord. Oh, I will look for those, Linda. Linda's telling me there's a new wrench cord, Signe Noir, Black Swan. I'm going to look for that. Because although I am a stamper, and you know I love my stamps, you can st these are a really good foundation, these kits. Really good foundation to get you started and they give you all the matching images and everything. So I'm really being quite rough with this because I want all this texture. And I'm, gonna, I'm going to do two of the tags. I won't do them all, but I am doing two. Just bear with me while I'm doing this and then I'll, I'll quickly flick back through the comments. Oops. I've ripped that one a bit too much, but hey ho, I wanted it shabby. <laughs> there's shabby and there's shabby. <laughs> That's better. So that one's done enough. I'm just going to put a few little tears in. I like the tears and I don't want it even on the edges. Because it's meant to look old. So as long as I've got some distressed edges look going on, that's fine by me. So that one's done. Now West have just emailed to tell me that my latest statement's available. Not sure I want to see it. <laughs> uh, what are the papers you use and please, if you scroll up the comments, Rose, you'll see that there's a link. I've put a link on the Chow Bella, Chow Bella Creative Packs. So if you scroll up the comments, you'll be able to click on the link and it'll take you to them. Um, so I'm not going to do that tag, but I am going to do the big one. Because I want it to look like it's had a rough time. And you do get a different effect whether you do it towards you or away from you, which is bizarre. It's all just texture and it's easy to do this. Anybody can do this. Just be careful if you're using big scissors. So I'm torn it there, which is absolutely fine. Look at the difference it makes as soon as you start shabbying them up. Yeah, that's fine. So we've shabbed that one up now. 
and then I've just got the other backgrounds. Look how much pave per fiber has come off these. It's come off these, isn't that? That's amazing. Here we go. It is easy. Hi, Janice, not to worry. Hi, June, I will go through everything. <laughs> Later. So I'm just doing the back, the, this is the background for the top piece. So I am gonna stamp onto this layer and I'm purposefully shabbying this up before I stamp onto it. So when I do do some stamping, it's gonna miss the bits where the where it's raised up, where it's been shabbied. I I like I've got a little tool coming. It's probably gonna be February time when I do my birthday event on TV. I've had three prototypes already. <laughs> And it's not quite where I want it, so I've sent it back. Lots of fibre coming off this. That shows you how good the quality is. Sorry for the noise in your ear. And I've nearly done. Oops, that's a nice tear in that. Right, I think that will do. Let me just tidy this up a bit. So I've got some little notches missing, which is perfect. I'm just going to do a little bit down here as well. And that bit where I've not caught it with the scissors, I'm going to just pull that off with my thumbnail. And we are good to go. I'm going to take that off actually. Right, there you go. What a difference it makes. Just shabbying the edges up with a pair of scissors. It does blunt your scissors. Uh, haven't you got that tool from Woodware? Yeah, I have got that tool from Woodware. Also got my own coming next February. But I, it's quicker with the big scissors. Oops, especially when you're doing bigger pieces. Right. <laughs> Make sure you do it in a well-ventilated room. <laughs> oh dear. Right, so here we go. Here we go. So that's the background layer. So the background layer, I'm not actually doing anything else to that. I'm just gonna ink around the edges in a second we're going to work on the top piece and we're going to work on the gears and cogs so kitchen roll where are you so i'm reusing some of my kitchen roll and we're going to stamp with the broken circuitry when i find it Where are you, broken circuitry? I've literally just gone through everything with you. Oh, it's here. So I'm just going to stamp free freehand with the broken circuitry, and I am going to use the uh, gathered twigs. So gathered twigs is obviously. I'll just make sure I've got this the right way up. Yeah, that's right. Gathered twigs is kind of a, a, a reddy brown, like a rusty brown. So although this paper's got loads and loads of texture in it as well, we're going to add some more. <clears throat> and I'm just going to do the corners because you're only going to see the corners. So I'm doing this freehand. And just bear in mind that broken, uh, yeah, broken circuitry's got squares in it. So you do need to try and keep it relatively relatively straight 
so I'm just doing areas that you might see I'm not wasting my time doing it where you won't see it and I thought that this this one looked quite nice because it's it's I know it's the wrong shape but um, it's kind of musical looking yeah I know it's a circuit but it is it is kind of musical looking I've just banged the camera sorry everybody just to make you dizzy <laughs> and I just want to do a bit on this tag as well so this is the biggest tag that you're only going to see parts of I haven't bothered to cut out the holes in the the holes in the um, tags you don't really need to worry about that so I'm just adding little extra bits and a little bit down there and a little bit down there at least we won't be three hours tonight so that's the two that's the two bits done with the broken circuitry so I can clean that now and put that to one side and then I'm going to get my smoothie and I'm going to ink the other two tags so the other two tags that I haven't um, shabbied up. So the two tags that I haven't shabbed, I mean, look at that, that's the Brooklyn Bridge. It's fabulous. Uh, I'm gonna ink around the edge of them. I'm just gonna grab a smoothie. If I can find a brown one. I must admit, I know we all we all uh, we all like the sunshine, but I'm so glad it's cooled down a bit now. I'll just bring my mat back up. There you go. So I'm just going to go around the edge with the uh, the gathered twigs, and I'm not going to do the usual blendy thing because I literally just want a tiny bit on the edges. It actually looks like part of the part of the design. <laughs> it's so good. I bet there's none of these packs left now. <laughs> they are fab though, and I love having things that are easier, dare I say it. They give you like a, a foundation, a, a base to start from. Dab it. So literally, just by dabbing on the edge, you get a softer, you get a softer, a softer finish as opposed to when you roll in your tools. And the white card, I'm leaving plain white. So I'm going to splat everything now. So everything apart from the, in fact, no, I'll do it all. So all of these pieces are going to be splattered with gathered twigs and I'm, I'm, you're not going to be able to see me do this because the box is at the side on the floor. Um, so I'm, I'm literally going to take it from the, from the nozzle, so from the pipe in the nozzle and I'm going to do the same with the salty in fact i might change that i'm going to change salty ocean bear with me it might be a little bit too bright i've just now got to look for the right color so bear with me a second everybody that's my versifying clairs. That's one tray. That's one tray of distress oxide sprays. I'm just looking for the. That's too dark. 
broken china. Broken china might do it. No, stormy sky it is. No. Yeah, that's a broken china. So I've changed, I've swapped out the tumbled glass, uh, salty ocean, for broken china. It's a little bit more turquoisey. So broken china is just a little bit more turquoisey. It matches the papers better. Which one is Mr. M using? As there are eight pads. So the one I'm using is called Blue Note. The one I'm using is called Blue Note. There's also one called Hipster, which is really good. The Hipster one's really good for teenagers. Oh, bless you. Not to worry, Jackie. You can watch it. You can watch later. <laughs> right, that's better. I don't know why I left the wrapper on that. So I'm going to do my splatting now in broken china, gathered twigs, and then some gesso. And it's all going to get splattered at the same time, except for that piece. So into my box. Everything's going in all at once. Luckily, I can get it all in. <laughs> Do you know I've been using the same kitchen roll in that inky box for ages. So always remember to give your oxides a shake up. of the future why have i not seen these i'm going to look for these i'm going to look for a later so i'm just splatting so bear with me first colour. Nearly done. So that's enough gathered twigs and now on to the uh, broken china. So straight from the tube. Yeah, broken china was a better choice. Oh, that looks amazing. Particularly because they've already got lots of texture in them. If you've gone for the blue note pack, you need to make sure you get Broken China Distress Oxide Spray. Because it looks fabulous on it. I'll show you in a sec. And then we've just got one more colour to do. And then all the splatting has been done at once. And this is white gesso. And I did, I did change the water in my, um, I did change the water in my uh, paintbrush jar earlier. It was absolutely minging. <laughs> Can someone tell me what is happening, please? Yeah, Carol, I'm just splatting the papers. I'll bring them in in a second. So I'm just, I've just got all my papers, my backgrounds in the on the inner box on the floor. Uh, 
and that looks amazing. Last bit. This pack particularly is, is perfect for this. So let's just clean that off. Dry Mac. Right. Oops. Right. I'll bring these in and show you. I can't take them out of the box yet because they're drying. But let me just show you how they look now that they've got the. Uh, let me just show you. Broken China is perfect with this pack. Can you see the broken China splats and the gesso splats that? Those colours, I, I chose the perfect colours for this. So, um, gathered twigs and, let me show you on this one. Gathered twigs and broken china and then gesso. Looks fabulous. So I'll leave those on the floor to dry. And then whilst we're waiting for those to dry, Phil, will you be going through the paper packs again at the end? If you remind me, Michelle, Remind me and then I'll go through them again at the end. So now we're going to work on the extra guitar that I cut out. I'm going to, I want this to be glossy, so I want this to stand out a little bit. So we are going to heat emboss, uh, heat emboss onto that. And I'm going to do, I want to find my verse of mark. There we go. I'm going to do one layer of clear embossing powder on this and that will do two things it will give it that lovely glossy sheen and it will also i think i need to do it with the dabber um it will do two it will do two things it will give it that lovely glossy sheen and it will also make it a little bit firmer so i'm using the that's better it's coming out let me just see if it's coming out it is I think I've not used this for ages so I'm just making sure I've given it a good coating of the this is the emboss it dabber from Ranger it's basically um, oh the lemon drizzle cake was amazing and I brought some back with me that was left. Hi, Alison. It didn't last very long, I'll tell you. So I'm just giving that a good dab. It looks to be covered, so we'll find out in a second. And clear embossing powder. a lovely shiny guitar yeah I think that's covered oh it's covered enough let me just flip back to my YouTube it's come up I found my tool for distressing the edge so now I'll put it where you can find it <laughs> So I'm just going to unplug my phone so I can plug in my heat gun because you know I've used every socket that's available on three different extensions and I'm just going to heat this from above.
in because you don't want the camera dying while I'm live. That's it. That's it. We're done. So we've now got a lovely glossy guitar. Isn't that far poor violin, whichever you want it to be. When it's a guitar. <laughs> You could pretend it's a violin, but it is actually a guitar. So I'm just going to tuck that under there to flatten a bit. Right, now onto the interesting parts, or the more interesting parts. We're going to change these cogs and the gears from the grey ball, from the die. Where did I put the little parts? So I, I was going to leave these white, but I, I'm not. I'm going to change them. So these little centre parts, remember I told you this was just using the waste from the uh, from the clay. Did you want me to show you these again? Uh, you can use glossy accents, but if you're going to use glossy accents, Denise, I would do it on the sheet before you cut it out. Because when glossy accents dries, it absorbs the moisture from your paper or your card, and then it ends up buckling it a lot um, if I'm if I'm doing bigger areas like the guitar I tend to favor doing clear embossing powder rather than the glossy accents um, just just because it doesn't buckle your cards so much those dangers are great dabbers <laughs> dabbers are great do you think I'll get 12 by 12 packs of what of these kits maybe I don't know I don't know. So I'm just checking that I've not missed anything. Right, so nobody's answered me, so I'm not doing that. So the little bit of clay that was left over, I just did the centre part of some of these little gears and I'm just going to snip off the excess. So we've created some smaller little embellishments just from the waste clay. It's not quite dry yet, so it's sticking to my scissors. But that will be fine, because it's meant to be textured. I'm going to do that one as well. So we've now got some extra little embellishments. I might not use all these. I might, I might not. So let's get these rusted up a bit. So these will be rusty, but without lots of texture, I'm going to use the paints. So I'm going to go in with the black first. So this is actually uh, gunmetal, which is not black, it's a dark gray. Oh, I know how you feel. Jennifer, it's that kind of weather, isn't it? Jennifer's just saying she's got a poorly head. So we're going in with the graphite first. One brush. That will do. So I'm going to colour them all black and then we're going to add the colour with the, the teal, the blue, the burnt orange and the copper. So I'll colour them, I might leave, I might save one because I don't think I'll use three. Mm, decisions, decisions, I'll save that one. <laughs> so I'm just using the brush, any old brush will do for this, it doesn't, it doesn't matter, just don't use one of your good brushes. So I'm going to stipple the texture in with, with my paints. So I'm going straight onto the air dry clay and this one hasn't quite dried yet. But you can see already, I'll bring it in and show you. Straight away it looks like a metal, a metal gear. I am doing the edges of this because it will bug me if, if I don't. This actually dries relatively quick as well. 
So you can start layering your colours more or less straight away. This is the one that hasn't quite dried, so I'm just being gentle so I don't squash the shape of it. just bring that in and show you so that's that's with one coat of the gun metal and it is a metallic paint so already it looks like wrought iron so let's just let that dry and I'll repeat that with the others oh this looks amazing Hopefully you've got the gears now because did you get them die? Because I know I won't be getting them back. So these Zori molds, they sold out when I used them the other night. So I've checked with the shop and we've got, I can't remember if she said two or three of each left. And then it's the last of them. We won't be having them again. And I love them because they are, they are shapes within shapes. Oh, that looks fabulous. Oops. Look at that look. And that's before we put any of the other colors on. Sorry I'm late again, I'll catch up again later. That's all right, don't matter. You can that's the beauty of these. You can watch you can watch whenever you want. Because it saves the videos. And I know Julie is not watching because she's busy with her daughter. Oops. Look, I'm getting messy again. What's that twice this year? <laughs> In fact, I think it might be more. So I'm just working my way around. It's it's marvellous. It's it's so brilliant how. A piece of air dry clay can look like a metal embellishment with a little bit of paint. So obviously the colours in these papers are... <laughs> the colours in these papers are more rusty. So I'm going to add lots of copper, lots of turquoise and blue and orange, the burnt orange is what's going on next so i'll just clean the brush they're not quite dry yet but i'll be able to work on them oops let me just check i'm trying to flick between the two places to see the comments uh i'm not sure yet die <laughs> I'm just catching up on the comments between the two places. Oh, clean my brush. Right, so if if I if I'd have had more time today, I would have gone in at this stage with some of the chalk paste in uh I, Iron Gate, there's a black chalk paste called Iron Gate um, but I, for some reason I can't find mine which is just absolutely ridiculous I'm going in with the, with the burnt orange next so I'll try and find my I'll try and find my Iron Gate for next time So 
So you do need to try and make sure that your paints are dried in between in between layers. Mine's not quite dry yet, but so I'm being naughty. So if you try and replicate this using my metallic paints, just make sure it's dried on your moulds before before you start adding the next colour. So just by adding the orange to the gun metal, it already starts to look a little bit, oh, you can see it's not dry, look. It already starts to look a little bit rusty. They're even wetter, but let's go. I'm trying to only use the paint that's in my lid because I can clean the lid out. Okay, so that's gun metal and burnt orange. I'm going to let them dry for a second before I add the next colour because I don't want to. In fact, I'm going to. Just clean that out. I don't want to contaminate my paints because these paints are too good. If any of that colour had got into my paint, it would have absorbed it. So I'll just show you what they look like at the minute. And I'm going to leave those to dry while we get on with the next part. Oh, what's that popped up on my screen? Who needs rusty cogs? <laughs> so we'll move on to the next part. Uh, kitchen roll, where are you? Just dry my hand. So I'm gonna bring these papers back in. Looks fabulous. Did that look fab? It's a pity I'm going to cover most of that up. So this is going onto my card just flat. So just with glue. And I'm not sticking right down to the edge because I want it to be sticky up a little bit. So this is why I had such a tiny, tiny border, because I knew it wouldn't matter. Yeah, that's fabulous. Yeah, Broken China is definitely the one to do for this. And that's going on to this piece on just on glue as well. Oh, before I forget to tell you, next Wednesday night, next Wednesday night's YouTube Facebook Live will be Sneaky Peaks. Because it's next Wednesday, uh, next Friday that I'm back on telly. So next Wednesday night will be Sneaky Peaks at the new stamps. And all I'm going to tell you is, you need them. <laughs> so that's now my background layer. Cut out the mid you, I absolutely could have done that, Jeanette, rather than waste. Could you use the foundry wax? Absolutely you could. Oh, on the gears? Absolutely you could die. Absolutely, yes. It would look amazing. Slightly different to the paints because the foundry wax, as you know, needs to be heated up. So if you were doing foundry wax onto the air dry clay, just, just you need to just heat it very, very gently. Uh, so that's that's the background. I 
I've got one of these borders here, which is the piano keys. I'm just going to stick that onto the craft card. <laughs> Jeanette. Jeanette trying to save me paper. Got to tag her. I cut it on. created a little border and now we're going to come to the wire die I'll get a drink because dies forgot to remind me or if you did I forgot So back to the paints. I need another bit of kitchen roll. Where is it? At least you know I'm reusing everything. So this is the um, this is the wire die, which is perfect for this for this theme. And I'm gonna I'll colour that before I uh, shape it before I tear it. And I've also got two little straws, two little, well, when I ordered them, it said they were craft, but that's not craft to me. That's like a beige colour. And I'm going to paint those as well. I just need to change the brush that I'm using because I want a bigger brush for this. And somehow the wire for my phone has got caught in all my brushes so I'm just moving my wire everybody that's it so I want a bigger brush for this and I'll I'll just do a couple of these cogs because I don't think I'll use them all uh, three a couple being three a couple being three and I'm going to, I'm not going to put the black on that this time. I'm just going to start with the other colours. And I'm going to brush over them. Phil said sneaky and then the internet went off. Sneaky peaks of the new stamps next week. Have I shown you that border before, Phil? No, it's from the papers, Alice. It's from the paper pack. So I'm painting everything orange. So you'll get a slight, you'll get a different effect on craft card because it's more porous. We'll still get a rusty effect, but we need to use more of the paint really. Oops, I'm going to take that off there so I don't waste it. That's why you need a long brush. I am going to do most of this surface area on the wire die. I'm not worried about it being neat. I'm not worried about being patchy. And the paint will dry much quicker on cardstock than it does on air dry clay. But I'm just going to show you what that looks like because this colour is fabulous. Look at the look at the pearlescent sheen that we've got, even on craft card. Look. So let's just make sure that's dried before I move on. Just taking off the excess from the wire die. because it gets caught in the little holes in the wire die. And then we'll go in with the blue. I must use about 15 brushes every time I do a Facebook Live. So I'm going in with the electric blue next. 
Let's see if the gears are ready. Nearly. Almost. Almost, but let's see if we can get away with that. Too many people watching football. <laughs> Next Wednesday evening, sneaky peeks, yeah. So this is electric blue. And I'm just dabbing bits in. It's all about building up the colors when you're doing a, a rusty effect. And I, I like the the blue patina that you get. Not necessarily in rust, but I do like the blue the blue undertones, which is why I'm putting blue and turquoise in. You don't actually have to for rust. We could have got away with just doing gold and copper. But I like the rusty bits that have blue in. The same on here. I nearly forgot. You, I wouldn't, just in case you're wondering, I wouldn't do a, a, a whole sheet of rust effect and then die cut the die from it because it'll muck your dies and you'll lose the bits that you want. But you can see that that's coming together. As are my fingers. Usually when I finish the Facebook Live, whenever you say drink, I think... <laughs> Di's reminding me to drink. Thanks, Di. <clears throat> uh, what was I doing? Cleaning my brush. Oh, bugger, I forgot to do the straws. Oh, I'm going to leave the straws off now because I forgot to do them. And I'm not going back through all the colours again. But they, they would have looked like rusty pipes. But I'll do it on a canvas one night for you. So that is the electric blue. And now we're moving on to teal. So teal is obviously a much darker, a much darker tone. And I'm just going to remind you again, if you have a go at this, just make sure it's dry. That's not dry. You can see that's not dry, but I'm just going to go for it. I didn't want to do these ahead because you, you don't learn anything if I do things ahead of time. So the teal, I'm not doing as much teal. So I'm going slightly over the areas where I did the blue. I'm just being delicate, bear with me while I do this bit. So I don't want too much blue, too much blue showing. This is the one that's still a bit wet. Incidentally, the tech you can you can achieve texture from the metallic paints as well. So if you see here, if I bring that in really close, you can can you see where we've got some texture from the actual paint? So I'm gonna I'm gonna batter that now with the next colour. But if I left that to dry, we would still get texture from that. The paint would dry raised. But I'm going over it with the teal. So 
So Rusty is actually more more black than what I've done, but I want these to match the papers. Oops, far too much there, Phil. We're getting there, we're getting there. Let me show you that one. Oops, wrong way. The Valor Beautiful. It's a shame I'm gonna rough it all up in a minute. And then a little bit on here. And then we finish with we finish with more burnt orange and then a bit of copper. So dry my brush. How long have we been? I bet we've been three hours, haven't we? I said we'd only be about two hours. Now the ice cream van's not been, Linda. Shocking. It must be on a day off. What's that all about? It's normally been by now, isn't it? Can you tell us when your next magazine is out? They're asking me on YouTube. I can tell you when the next magazine is out. It's the beginning of September. It's the beginning of September, the 6th of September to be exact. So it's the week after the new stamps. Uh, so put the lid on the teal. Uh, sorry, I'm going to uh, burnt orange. Burnt orange, next. Panicked then, because I thought I'd got colour in there. I'm going to go into the lid for this. So I'm just blending these colours together a little bit with the orange and I'll just show you the difference between so the, the top one is the one that I haven't put the extra orange on the bottom one is you can see we're getting there look with the colour to think it started like that so you do need to be patient and just build build the layers up I'm trying not to dip into my paint pot. So this is a very, very light top coat, if you like, of the burnt orange. And what I should have done is use one of my palettes but it's too late now because we've nearly done. Doesn't that look fab? Oops, too much. Now you know why I like the little, the little um, turquoise and blue undertones. I might not need these cogs when we put the card together, but I'm doing them just in case. I love I love my, the metallic paints. So much you can do with them. So <laughs> even on. Even on craft card, <laughs> even on craft card, we've got this lovely rust effect coming together. <laughs> it's fabulous. <laughs> and then I'm just going to go over that roughly. 
I'm just going to show you this because this looks fabulous, look. <laughs> oh, thank you. Saying love all my work, thank you. And I'm just going to clean this lid again. Now, luckily, the paints are water-based, so I'm not worrying too much about my fingers. I'm just going to finish off with a little bit of copper. It does need that touch of copper. And there's a reason why I've done things in the order that I've done them today. So the tags and everything look are drying quite nicely while I'm doing all these dirty jobs. So we're going to have a touch of copper and then possibly a final... <laughs> Possibly a final dust of the gunmetal or mink. I might change to mink. You've never seen me so filthy, have you? <laughs> uh, it dries firm, but a little flexible. Does the air dry clay? Yeah. Oh, thanks, Di. Di's keeping an eye on everybody's questions for me. Uh, from I'm from Norway, so it's a problem because we get fees, I think, if you order over £30. Yeah, it's true, Jeanette. Exporting now is an absolute nightmare. It's just a pain in the neck. So I'm now going in with the copper. So we've literally just got a couple of bits to do to these. And copper does, does give it that... Um, I'm going to do that one here. It does give it that final bit of metallic effect. Oh, that looks fabulous. I wouldn't normally do it on wet kitchen roll underneath. But I'm trying to be quick because I did think I was only going to be a couple of hours for this one. Let me show you that look. Doesn't that look brilliant? I'll put it on white card in a minute and show you. So what the copper does is it gives you a, a, a more metallic undertone and then we'll finish with the gun metal. So don't go mad with the copper, otherwise it'll look like a new penny. And we don't want that. We want it to look old and rusty. But it does need that little touch of copper. I'm having a whale of a time, me. I'm thoroughly enjoying myself. Oops, far too much copper on that film. So easy to do. It's just time. It's just you just need to be patient. a little bit too much don't they look fabulous and now we've just got to finish it off with the last bit the very last bit of gun metal just to make it look older again <laughs> Linda, Linda's saying on Facebook, old and rusty, I know that look well. <laughs> Me too, these days. <laughs> I've got to say though, since, since we've started doing, or since I've started doing, the little demos for you twice a week, I absolutely love doing it. Um, so we, I do, it, it will eventually revert to Tuesdays and Saturdays. So Tuesday evenings and Saturday afternoons and it will only not be on if I'm A, not very well or B, on TV. But I've, I've really enjoyed doing these with you. And it's kind, of, it's kind of nice for me to have the time to show you things like this because I would never have time to do that on TV. 
So I'm finishing now with the last bit of the um, gum metal. Before I do that, let me just show you, where's my other paint? Because there's another color that you need. There's another color that you need really to do this. Um, and it's this one, look, mink. Oh, where are we? Mink. So if you're ordering any of the metallic paints, and I have got the links on there, um, you can get them individually, but obviously I've got them in sets as well. But the ones I'll show you at the end. So mink, I should have done mink on top of the first layer of gun metal. But it's too late now, so we missed it. So I'm just putting a little bit in the lid again. And we're just going to give this a last dusting of the gun metal. If I'd have done the mink, it would have looked, it would have looked more browny because mink is a beigey brown color. Isn't that just fabulous from a piece of card? D don't do too much. Don't do too much. Don't do too much, he says. Of the gun metal on the last one. You still need to see some of the colour from underneath. Like so. That looks amazing. Just from a bit of paint. Right, there we go. Now anybody can do that. Absolutely anybody can do that. You, you don't need to be, you don't need to worry about that because you can't really do it wrong. So I'm now gonna put the lids on so these are the colours you need to get that lovely rusty effect really. So I, I miss mink. So I've got uh, copper, teal, gunmetal, oops, copper, teal, gunmetal, burnt orange, electric blue and mink. So if you want to have a go at the rusty, they're the ones that I would tell you to get. I'm just going to put them back in the tub. And there's another, there's another way to do patina as well, but we'll do patina another day. Patina's got much more turquoise and copper in it. So I'm gonna clean my hands as best I can. Get a drink. <laughs> so Alice has just said it looks looks boss phil on you on facebook and dies just replied to alice and she's put is that down with the kids alice <laughs> look at that look marvelous i'm clean how fab that you can get all that paint on you and know that it's gonna wash off i think this now i could dry that out i could let that dry out and die cut things from it but you know me well enough to know where that's going. So I'll pop all these bits to one side now and let them dry. I'll, I'll just show you this on white card. Let me just make sure my hands are dry. Well, that's what that looks like on white card. Hopefully you can see the sheen. So it now does look like rusty old iron wire. Fabulous. So put that over there, let that dry. And we'll get all our bits back and start making this card. I did actually, because I did actually want to have two, two rusty pipes on this card. 
Uh, but I'll show you that on another demo. I might do it as a quick demo. Uh, I might do it as a quick, as a quick demo for YouTube. Right, so let's get this card put together. So I'm leaving. I'm leaving the edges of this, these layers white on purpose. I'm not inking the edges of them. I'm leaving them as they are. So just make sure the music goes the right direction. That's it. And this is going flat onto the card as well. How long have we been? Dare I look at the time? I'm hoping that by doing all these demos, it gives you confidence to have a go at things yourself. Because that's that's why I do them to try and to try and show you how easy it is to do stuff. Once you've got the right kit, I'm going to just wiggling this about a bit. That's it. Once you've got the right equipment and the right stuff you can use them again and again and again it's like the, the the paints the paints i'm still using my sample pots from when i first released the paints so you know they're going to last for ages i'm just putting another tear in this that's it i just wanted to tear down there that's how ocd i am So, right, so I'm going to work from the I'm going to work from the topper uh, first. So let's get this onto the card, and this is going on foam tape. And hey, uh, just changing the subject ever so slightly. Um, has anybody watched the new Downton movie? I'm thinking of getting it for tonight. The one where they go to France, I think it is. Get this layer done and onto this card. I'll do it so oh no I won't. I'm gonna I'm just gonna stand up while I do this bit. You're in Ibiza, Michelle. That's dedication. We've got Anne in New Mexico. We've got Jeanette in Norway. Oh, look how lovely that looks already. That broken china is perfect with these. It looks fabulous. And I'm going to pop this onto the uh, craft piece as well before I start assembling all the toppers and everything. And it's going on flat. So there are there are six layers to this card before the embellishments, but I've only actually got two of them on on foam tape. I thought I'd been bleeding. Then it was a there was a little bit of orange paint there, and I, I thought I'd cut myself. Right, so let's bring all the bits back in. Oh, I forgot that ruddy clock. Oh, I'm trying to do too many things. I forgot the clock as well. That was going to be copper. But I think we've got enough with the gears. I think we've got enough stuff going on with the gears uh, and everything. Right, here we go. This, this to me is proper paper crafting. So this is, this is how most of us think of paper crafting. We've taken these fabulous designs from the Chow Bella pads. Um, and I don't actually know the Chow Bella people. So I'm going to make it my mission to, to get to know them. Marion's in the Netherlands as well. Oh, that's dedication. Thank you. Welcome. 
Is anybody else from abroad? My sister's from New Zealand. Crikey, we've got people from all over. That's marvellous, thank you. Right, so we're going to start layering this, uh, layering this all together. So a little tip or a little bit of advice. Oh, I forgot my thing. My guitar lot. So look at the difference with the embossing powder on top. Can you see? It, the colour really pops. So a little bit of advice. So I, I prepped this layout in my head before I, we went live so I knew exactly what I was doing. Otherwise we would have been a bit demented and spoiled with all the lovely papers that are in that kit. So we, I wouldn't, it's a little bit overwhelming. So always try and have a layout in, in your head. And one thing I will mention, if you're not in our little Facebook group, um, now I'm trying to do too many jobs, Janice. Uh, if you're not in our little Facebook group, you can search for it. It's the same name as the YouTube channel. So if you've not already subscribed to me on YouTube, please find me there. Just search for Crafting with Phil Martin and Sentimentally Yours. Subscribe to the channel and then you can interact and, and watch on YouTube when I do it on there as well. And also our Facebook group is called the same thing. So search on Facebook for Crafting with Phil Martin and Sentimentally Yours and ask to join the group. You do need to accept my rules. You do need to accept my rules. Otherwise I don't let you in my Facebook group because um, we're a lovely friendly bunch. And the weekly, ch the monthly challenge that we've got going on in the Facebook group at the minute is a layout that I, a very simple layout that I've put together for for the members of the group to follow as a guide. And the card that I'm making today, if you've got any of these kits, or if you've treated yourself to any of these uh, lovely Chow Bella kits, you can use the layout that I've put on the Facebook group. Um, and, and just use the elements from that. So just search for some of the fabulous layouts that you can already find. So I already know that this tag is going to go off the bottom of this topper and it's going to go on foam tape because this is what I decided to do when I was prepping my layout. And incidentally, these big tags, that'll do for that. These big tags are fab for DL cards. So if you like to do DL cards, if you've got my slimline DL dies, these lovely slim tags are perfect for them. That's even got the guitar in it, look, can you see? So this is going to go just off centre and it's going to drop off the bottom of this little topper. So I've hung it off the edge of that little, of the topper for this card. So when it's actually on the card, look, yeah, it's just breaking up the layer that's underneath it. Oh no, I didn't. I picked it up and I never drank. <laughs> and then we've got the border here. So this border with the lovely piano keys uh, is going to go across there. In fact, I'll have it. I'll have it off the edge there as well. So let's just snip that there. snip and I'm going to save that extra little bit because why would I waste that and that's going to go on there so if I turn it the other way up I can see where I need to put my foam tape <laughs> and I know I need to go too high with the foam tape for this because I've got the tag already on one layer of foam tape you could do this with your glue gel or your gel mediums um, i'm going to give you another little tip God, i'm full of it today if you've got the i need to show you i don't even know whether this is on the website I don't even know whether these are on the website or not yet. Um, the <laughs> these are mine, <laughs> obviously. Uh, I don't. Is Bev? Bev, are you still watching? 
Um, let me, I'm just going to see if I can find you the link for this because I'm going to give you a little tip. Just bear with me one second. Uh, do, do, do. Mediums, I'm just looking for it because this is something worth treating yourself to. Oh, Mod Podge, it is on the website. I didn't think it was yet because I've not had it for that long. <gasps> it is, it is, it is. So I'm going to pop these links in. Mod Podge. See, now I know I can do links myself. You'll get fed up with it. Paste, Mod Podge. So I've just put the link on Facebook and on YouTube to the Mod Podge. And I'm not going to do it now, but I promise you I will do it when we have another canvas type demo. But all these Mod Podges are fabulous. So this one here gives you a sparkle finish. So I could brush it over these. So I could use my... I'll, I'll do it with a long... Oh, it's sealed. I'll do it with a long brush like that very thin brush it over and then that would dry with a glossy sparkly finish but the one i'm going to tell you that i think you need to get first is when i find it that's matte gloss 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 treat yourself to the gloss one so that dries with a very subtle glossy finish uh, put that i've covered my desk in these now and it's brilliant we could have done it on that we could have done it on that you can use it on mdf gray board rice paper whatever and i'll i'll use that for you next time we next time we have a uh, this kind of demo again i'll do it and show you but i, I didn't think we got it on the website yet so Karen and the girls at the shop have obviously been on the ball. Because I've been nag nagging for ages to get it in. So which way? That way. So I don't want to cover that lovely tear up. Let's just take it just a little bit off the edge. And that is really going to annoy me because it's not straight. is now not that i'm ocd or anything but i've just had to snip that much off <laughs> so now the uh i'm back onto the glue gel now i'm not i'm gonna put this on my card first foam tape where are you oh the mod podge emma's just asking me on youtube how how long does the Mod Podge take to dry? Oh, Emma. Oh, obviously the, the thicker you put it on, the longer it takes. So for example, if I was doing it onto the molds, uh, if I was doing it onto these and it fell into the recesses, if, so if you got pools of it, it takes a little bit longer. But if you were just doing it thinly over one of these, seconds, seconds, very quick. So I'm just popping the foam tape on. I'm not very good at time management, it seems, but I do like to show you from start to finish. It's how, it's my job to teach you how to use these things. It's my mission to teach you as many things as I can and as many different techniques and styles as I can. Here we go. Hi, Harry. Harry's watching me on YouTube, Emma's grandson. So I'm just gonna pop that into there. Look how gorgeous this looks already. That, that just looks gorgeous before I even do anything else to it. So here we go. New Downton move, move is worth watching if you're a fan but didn't think it was as good as the first one. 
Yeah, I, I do like Downton. I miss Downton, so I'm probably going <laughs> to... Mod Podge. I love Mod Podge. It's great. Different types of wood too. Yeah, absolutely. I didn't realise we'd got it on the website or not yet. Uh, because I've obviously I've obviously just nicked up, uh, not nicked. I've just borrowed all mine from the shop, so I haven't even opened it. I've opened two of them. Right, so now we're going to get layering up, and I'm moving on to the glue gel for this part now. So let's bring in, let's bring in the embellishments. Oh, these colours are amazing! Look at these colours. Look at these colours. Look at these colours. Aren't they just spectacular? Remember, you need to get the Zuri gears quickly because I'm not restocking and we only had a couple left. So you'll need to be pretty quick with them. That's still not dry. And just to give you all a heads up, I have got some new moulds on the website, but the category is hidden. When are you back in class, Phil? I've been away. I'm there. I was there on Wednesday, Anne, and I'm back for the next class as well. So now we're moving on to glue gel. Now I'm going to do this one on tape. I'm trying not to use too much gel on this. Tape. I'm just turning that round so I can see what I'm doing. So remember this little tape for you, look. So I know this is going to go here. Yeah. But remember it's flipped. So this part needs to be one high. That part needs to be two. And I'm not going to worry about the bottom part. Yeah, that's fine. It's almost a shame to cover these things up, but it is all about the layering. I love that. You can see the dimension we've got going on there. Love it, love it, love it. And let's see if I can get away with this one. So I need the large record on here and I'm going to snip it in half or shall I not shall I not snip it in half because I want that sentiment on there do you know what I'm not going to snip it in half but I am this one lots of choices lots of choices do, 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 do. my favourite thing Look, how fabulous is that? Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Glue gel, where are you? So I'm now I'm now coming towards the top the top layer of embellishments, which is why I've moved on to the glue gel. So you know me well enough to know that if uh, yeah, I know Susan, you've got it's really difficult particularly when you've got lovely papers and stuff like this. Susan's just saying she finds it difficult to cover things up. But it, it is all about layering and texture. Um, but I, I do get where you're coming from. So the reason I've moved on to the glue gel is because... Oh, look at this. This stuff hates me. I'm going to see if I've got a new tube. It's like technology. Technology in... Glue gel hated me. Oh, I can't quite believe that. Is that my last one? 
No, it's coffee. Coffee. No. I can't believe that. I can't believe I'm telling you this, but that is my last, that is my last tube of glue gel. I think the only place I might have some is in the, is in my trolley that I use for TV, but it's in the car. So I'm going to have to persevere with this. <gasps> So I guess I'll be messaging after this, the girls at the shop to get me some more glue gel. In fact, Di, if you're watching, you better send me half a dozen tubes of pin flare. <laughs> Last tube of pin flare, ridiculous. How did that happen? I probably got six somewhere and I just, it is, it's shocking then. Absolutely shocking. <laughs> Shocking And it's not like I craft a lot <laughs> So this lovely This lovely record here says uh, Jazz festival on it Which is obviously not something that I would be into But it has also got this Fabulous fabulous sentiment in it That I've cut out And it says It says don't worry about playing a lot of notes Just find one pretty one uh, Miles Davis, a quote from Miles Davis, and I just thought that was lovely. So that's going on here on gel when I eventually get it working. I know, I know that gene. I just, you know, when I've finished a live, I just can't be bothered. I just chuck them wherever they are. And it doesn't help that it's got a gunky bit at the end that's dried and sealed it. Oh, here we go. I better not use it all, I don't. <laughs> I am a bit heavy handed with it. <laughs> That'll teach me a lesson. Uh, oh, see, I don't want to cover that bridge up. Oh, too late. I've done it. I just want it to come just to the edge and then the other tag is going on so the other tag is going to go there so I'm just checking where I need the gel a demo assistant I do <laughs> visit a lovely craft shop called Honeypot Crafts <laughs> that's fabulous hi hope I've just flicked over to... It's all right, I hope. You can watch this back again. So it's a fabulous demo. How do you manage without your shop around the corner? Do you know what, Judy? It does my head in. It costs them a fortune to post me stuff because I email them just about every day. Um, I'll text my sister to message, just send me stuff just about every day. I am at the shop once a fortnight, though, to do my workshops. And I usually come back with a carrier bag full of stuff. Uh, right, let me get this done. <laughs> so this side is going to be the higher part. Oops. It's not helped me because this tube has always been dodgy at the end. So I've wasted a lot from this. Like that, look. So all the tags and everything are going on first and then I'm going to start sticking the embellishments in. So this is this is now got two parts that have the glue gel on. Which means I can start tucking things and lifting them up and tucking them underneath. I forgot to ink the edge of this. So I'm just going to tap the edge of this with the... Uh, this is the gathered twigs 
So most people that know me know that of all the dis of all the distress colours that are brown, uh, ground espresso is my favourite because it's a lovely dark brown. However, ground espresso is too dark for this. So in the absence of ground espresso, or if ground espresso is too dark, gathered twigs is a lovely brown shade. Um, I don't like vintage photo. I don't know what it is, but I just don't like it. So I tend to always go for ground espresso. So that's going to go there. So I can start tucking my cogs in. So that can go there. There we go. Do, do, do. Every, everybody went mad for vintage photo. Um, and I, I never particularly warmed to it I suppose it's good for your journals and your scrapbooks but I, I like the darker browns better so this is just going on top of there so we've now changed the centre of that record to that lovely phrase and now the gears can start going in Did, did I only do two? I did, didn't I? Which is just shocking. Shocking. So it's going to have to be down there. Sorry, I'm faffing. And I promise you, I did have a layout. I'm not covering that up. It's too good. So I'm snipping this record in half. This half just there. I will, I promise I will look at your uh, I'll catch up with the comments in a bit. I'm now in I'm now in full fill mode, which is embellishing. Full fill mode. to see that uh, full fill mode I might use that later what do you think do you think that looks odd there Quite like that. It's going on. It's going on. Embellish your bits, embellish your bits. I'm not very good at thin cards, am I? <laughs> so, gears and cogs. I'm not going to put the gears on yet. Because I want to add some more words to this. I will pop the guitar on because I'm not going to... I'm not going to put anything over that. So we'll just pop the guitar on. Somebody remind me later, it'll probably be die, to message the shop for some glue gel. But I might just run up myself and get some. So the difference look, I mean, that looks fab before without the extra guitar, but the glossiness just makes it stand out from the embossing powder. Can you see that? Look? 
I'm not fab. Right, so I'm just going to get to the sentiments. We're going to move on to the sentiments, and I'm stamping with the um, with the gathered twigs distress oxide, and I'm using the I'm using the motivationals from the ticket tape tastic again, just because this style matches, and I'm going to have oh choices choices. Um, oh. oh, too many choices. Shall I just have create art? Create art. Yeah, I like that. Because it's a music themed card. So, create art. Obviously, you could put happy birthday or whatever you wanted to on this. But to me, with the music, oh, they're the ones from last time. That was naughty, Phil. I usually put them straight back. So, obviously, you could put whatever sentiment you want on this, but I'm going with the create art because it's an arty kind of card with the music so art create and I'm just going in twice with the gathered twigs so I'm going brown on brown on craft which is a little bit bizarre but that's the look I'm going for it will take two attempts with a distress oxide. If I can get enough ink on these stamps, there we go. Time to relax, Denise has put, it's too late. I've gone for create art. That looks lovely. We could have had a little bit of rusty hinge on there as well. Rusty hinge looks nice on craft card, everybody, just remember. But well, that looks fab on there. It's so, can you see, I don't know whether you can see this, but it's soaking into the craft card. So it almost looks shabby and vintage without actually having to do anything. So we'll let that dry for a second. I'm going to get a drink because I keep forgetting. I keep picking the mug up. It's absolutely stone cold, but I'm still drinking it. And now we're on the put together part. So let's tuck in some of this first, just while we wait for the sentiment to dry. So this is the wire dye that we've, we've uh, made more textured. So I'm just gonna tear some bits from it. I've done this on craft card so that it, it still it still matches if um, it still matches if we get any bits that are not covered with paint. So I'm just going to pop that on with glue. No, this is just normal glue that's dried at the ends. Oh, I'm not. I'm so rubbish at time. This is supposed to be a quicker demo. We are nearly done. <laughs> We are nearly done. It's a good job I enjoy doing these, isn't it? All the time it takes. Get underneath. So 
So I'm just tucking some of this in areas. I'm just ripping it. That's too much. And I, I do find it easier. You can use the brush glue, the glue with the brush in, which does, which does make this job easier. But because I'm not worried about this being perfectly flat, it's literally just texture. So I can, I'm quite happy to just have glue in bits. So bits of this are poking up, which is absolutely fine. Sentiments are nearly dry. Can that look fab look? Where it's soaked into the craft card. Right, so here we go. Here we go. I don't know whether I need all these on. That's what's tormenting me. I'm not sure I do. It might just be, it might just be these few. What do you think everybody? Do you think that's enough? And maybe just a couple from the, from the card. I'm, I'm just, really should remember to have an early lunch for you, Demi. You absolutely should, Judy. <laughs> I'm trying not to overdo this. Because I think, I think, I think that I'm happy with that. Because there's a lot, there's a lot going on already. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to save that one. I don't want to do too much. I've still got my sentiments to put on as well. Right. We're on the last leg, everybody. Woo -woo. Oh, come on. I'll be glad when this piece, this pin flare's done. Because it's been an absolute pain in the you know where. Deciding. <laughs> Denise is eating her lunch while she's been watching the demo. <laughs> oh, thank you, Deborah. Deborah says she loves this car. She needs to watch the replay on YouTube. So I'm just making that a little bit higher because I want it to sit just there. Just there. This one is going there. That one can go flat. I'm not very good at quick cards. <laughs> I don't think I don't think quick cards are in my <laughs> repertoire. <laughs> but they are all fabulous. <laughs> Even if I say so myself. I can tell it's still warm. Right, let me just check where I'm at. Let me just look at that from a distance. 
I knew there was something missing. It was that piano border. We are getting there, everybody. I've been saying that for 20 minutes. That's it. Aren't these colours fabulous? These kits are absolutely amazing and it's made me want to do some like it. Right, so sentiments. I'm saving these bits because they're always they're always handy to to have. I might have a little bit more a little bit more of this up here. Yeah. It's not even tucked, it's not even glued in yet. And we are almost, almost done. Why is that not sticking? Oh, because I put the glue in the wrong place. Sorry, you know I go quiet when I'm on the in embellishing bit. I'm going to have to stick that down because it's bugging me. Right, all I've got to put on now is, <laughs> all I've got to put on now is the sentiment. And it literally just says, create art. And it's not quite dry yet, because I've done it on craft cards, so it's still soaking in. And I'm just trying to leave a teeny tiny... craft border not worried about these being straight and I think that knowing me I will have some I'm just going to get I'm just going to get my bundled sage distress oxide, uh, not my bundled sage, my broken china. I need to have some blue on that, some turquoise. So I go. It can take me five hours to tidy up from this. So broken china, where are you? Where's the wood? just needed that little bit of turquoise on the edge of this and it's fab how distress oxides dry on craft card because they all they almost are vintage without trying so I'm literally just putting some broken china on the edge just to give it a blue tint turquoise tint I'll sit when I've made myself a coffee a hot coffee after this I will read through all the comments and reply as needed 
and that is an old sponge that's falling apart. So we've now got create art, create, no, create art, create art, create art, create art. Create art. I'm faffing, sorry everybody. Create art. Oh, decisions, decisions. I like that on there. And I like that there, I think. Do you agree? Didn't put your stamps back again. Oh, thanks, Elaine. I'll, I'll tidy up properly later. If you could see my room, it's like a bomb site. Um, do we like this? Do we like where I put create art before I stick it on? I think I do. I'm not the wrong way around. I have. <laughs> of course I have. So, create. tormenting me because normally by the piano keys yeah normally this is what I would do that's too far away yeah I think I like it better there it's going there oops and then I'm just going to see if I need to put any more wire in I bet you don't know what I'm going to do with this tube of pin flare when I've finished here. It's going to be chucked straight in the bin. Oh yeah, that looks fabulous. So I'd need a little bit of wire in there. Sorry, I'm faffing. Forgive me. Yeah, it needs a bit just to break up the paper in us. Paper in us, you know what I mean. And I think we are done. I'm just going to look. I'm just going to look. Just in case it's not balanced. I love that card. Absolutely love that card. I might just do another couple of gears. But I think that's pretty spectacular. Even if the tags have been covered up a lot. They are there. It's all about the layers and it's all about the texture. So I'm just going to wipe my hands. Not with that one because that's covered in brown ink. And then I'll bring this in closely and I'll do a quick run through for you of the kits that I've used or the kit that I've used 
it's almost like a scrapbook page layout this <clears throat> That takes me back a bit because I used to do scrapbooking workshops. Step away from the car, Judy says on YouTube. <laughs> right, so here we go from top to bottom. So I'm just going to show you how. It's not actually bad for me that it looks it looks higher than it actually is. So from top to bottom. We've got the little record tucked under there. We've got the rusty cogs and gears that we've made ourselves from the air dry clay and my metallic paints. The papers that are absolutely fabulous and the tags are from the Chow Bella. Um, Chow Bella. Do, 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 do. Remind me what the kit's called. Guess I forgot. I can't even see it. Blue Note, there it is. So the papers are from the Chow Bella Blue Note kit, which I suspect is probably sold out by now. Uh, I'll show you the two kits again because I know Rose missed out, missed me showing you at the beginning. So I'm quickly gonna flick through the two that I was gonna use today. Obviously it's just one. Isn't that fabulous? That is and and to think I've flicked paint and gesso and everything all over these and it still looks fab. We've got the glossy guitar. And that could quite easily be a, a birthday card. I, I feel like it's missing a, one of these here. So next time I t when I take a photo of this, it might have another small gear just here. <laughs> It's tormenting me. <laughs> so let's just do a quick flick for you. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know if there are any of these left over. So I'll move that to one side. <gasps> I've just put paint on the white. Ah, oh, that's going to drive me mad. Look. Just put... Look at that. I'll have to water that down and try and dilute it. So blue note... So these are the Chow Bella kits. I did put a link in the description um, of both the Facebook and the YouTube live. Uh, what about doing a scrapbook page demo? I could quite easily do that. Do you fancy that, everybody? I used to teach scrapbooking. So I could do that quite easily for you. Um, I could do Right, so let's just get back to these little paper kits when I find them. So, where are we? Ciao Bella Creative Packs. So, Blue Note has sold out. Uh, oh, in fact, most of them have sold out. <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody. Most of them have sold out, but I'll uh, I'll put the link in again for you. So that's the link to the Chow Bella kits. Um, what's left of them? The Blue Note has sold out, the one that I've used, as has uh, most of the others. Uh, but there are a couple still left. So I'll do a quick flick for you because the theme the theme is the same throughout. So Blue Note is the one that I've used today with the musical theme. No point tormenting you with that because there are none left. And the other one that I'm probably going to use next because this card here that I, we've made today, I can replicate that. And I think that this is actually my favourite one. Uh, because I love I love things that are kind of, I'm not going to say nautical because it's not. What would you say that theme is? It's not nautical, aquatic, maybe, I don't know. But I love these themes and I love the colours you get. So this pad here is the one that I was going to use today. Um, so I might use this and recreate the card I've made today using this pack. And this one is called Delta. It's fab for your masculine makes. Oh, even the style that I've done there. 
I mean, look at these, look at them, these images. I love these. And we've literally got, I've just had a look, I've got two of these kits left. There are two left and then that will be it. So I'm show you all the tags and the toppers and the sentiments you get with these. These are, look at that. They're, they're fabulous. So you get loads, the double sided, you get loads of toppers, loads of tags, loads of sentiments, loads of backgrounds. And I love this one, look, with the reeds. And then again, look, more tags, more toppers, more sentiments. The colour palette is amazing. Look at that. I, if you made me a card with this kit, I would absolutely love it. And yet you would never think that this would be my style, but I love it. The colour palette is amazing. Learn from the river, it may have to change. It may have to change its course, but never its destination. Oh, that's fab. A river will always find a path to its ocean. Oh, they're lovely. So that's another paper. More toppers, more tags. Love that image. Love that image. Packed. Love this paper. Can you tell I love this pack? But there are, there are literally two left, and then once they've gone, they've gone. I, and I'm going to tell you, as a designer, as a designer of papers, this effect is so hard to achieve. I mean, I've told you before that sometimes my papers, yeah, riverbank theme, Denise, yeah. Sometimes my papers have 14, 15 or more layers to get the depth. And I can see that this is what Chow Bella have done with these. Love that. I love them all. Love the basket weave. Love the little toppers. So it's going to be first first come, first served, I think, for these little kits on, on the website. Because they, once they've gone, they've gone. Uh, a few people have told me as we've, been, as we've been doing the demo that there are some new ones out. So I'm going to have a look, see if I can get those. But certainly these current ones, um, once they've gone, they've gone. I won't, I won't get any more stock. So... There you go. So thank you, everybody. Uh, I'll just remind you to please like and follow Sentimentally Yours on Facebook. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. There are loads of links on the Sentimentally Yours Facebook page to my YouTube channel. If not, if you haven't seen them, you can just go onto YouTube, search for Crafting with Phil Martin and Sentimentally Yours, and then click subscribe and subscribe to my channel. Um, you can always ask to join our Facebook group as well, which has the same name, Crafting with Phil Martin and Sentimentally Yours. And everything that I've used today that's still... Oh, that's the wrong one. Everything that I've used today that is still in stock, <laughs> which isn't much, is on, the, on, the, on my website, honeypotcrafts.co.uk. So thank you very much, everybody. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, you'll be able to watch this video back now and see what I did from scratch. I'll just do another quick close-up for you. So we've got the colours of the paint that I've used to colour the air dry clay. You will need to, I'll pop on if you remind me, just so that you know. Uh, the gears moulds. So the two sets of gears moulds from, uh, from Zuri. Uh, I don't know whether we've got any left because... We only had a couple of each. They did sell out the other day. Um, when I used, when I did the, what you call it? Do, 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 do. When I did the canvas on YouTube, Facebook the other night. But the girls at the shop told me we had two, two or three each of left, of each left. So I put them back in stock on the website. Once they've gone, they've gone. So if you like the two gear sets, I mean, they're absolutely fabulous, as you can see. The detail is incredible. And I've just had a look for you. We've got one of set one and two of set two left. That's it. So once they've gone, they've gone as well. And that's what's created these, which are just absolutely fabulous. 
So I'm now going to go and have a coffee and a drink. So thank you very much, everybody, for staying for another two, <laughs> two and a half hours. <laughs> Hopefully you're learning things while I'm doing these demos and I'm not just spending my time talking you know what. So have a lovely rest of the weekend, everybody. You're welcome. I'm glad you've enjoyed it. Um, and I will catch up with you on Wednesday evening on YouTube and Facebook at 7pm. And Wednesday will be the sneaky peek of the new collection of stamps that's being released on TV next week. So thanks, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Take care. Bye.